Welcome to today's Walk Through the Bible by Category. We have six categories with one chapter each. This will take us through the Bible in less than nine months. Our first category begins with a reading from the Torah, God's Law Through Moses. You have completed all reading of the books of the law. Our second chapter is from Israel's history. Nehemiah 11. Now the leaders of the people lived in Jerusalem, and the rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of ten to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while nine out of ten remained in the other towns. And the people blessed all the men who willingly offered to live in Jerusalem. These are the chiefs of the province who lived in Jerusalem. But in the towns of Judah, everyone lived on his property in their towns. Israel, the priests, the Levites, the temple servants, and the descendants of Solomon's servants. And in Jerusalem lived certain of the sons of Judah, and of the sons of Benjamin, of the sons of Judah, Athaiah, the son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shephatiah, son of Mahalel, of the sons of Perez, and Maaseiah, the son of Baruch, son of Kolhose, son of Hazaiah, son of Adaiah, son of Joyrib, son of Zechariah, son of the Shilonite. All the sons of Perez lived in Jerusalem, were 468 valiant men. And these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshelon, the son of Joed, son of Padaiah, son of Kolaiah, son of Maasiah, son of Ithiel, son of Jeshaiah, and his brothers, men of valor, 928. Joel, the son of Zichri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Hasanua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Jedaiah, the son of Jehoiarib, Jachin, Seraiah, the son of Hilkiah, son of Meshelam, son of Zadok, son of Mariath, son of Ahitab, ruler of the house of God, and their brothers who did the work of the house, 822, and Adaiah, the son of Jeroam, son of Pelaliah, son of Amzai, son of Zechariah, son of Peshur, son of Malchijah, and his brothers, heads of fathers' houses, 242, and Amasai, the son of Azarel, son of Azai, son of Meshilamoth, son of Amer, and their brothers, mighty men of valor, 128. Their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of Hagedulim, and of the Levites, Shimaiah, the son of Hashab, son of Azrakam, son of Hashabiah, son of Bunai, and Shabbatai, and Josabad, of the chiefs of the Levites, who were over the outside work of the house of God, and Madaniah, the son of Micah, son of Zabdi, son of Asaph, who was the leader of the praise, who gave thanks, and Bakbukiah, the second among his brothers, and Abda, the son of Shemua, son of Galal, son of Jedathan. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. The gatekeepers, Akub, Talman, and their brothers, who kept watch at the gates, were 172. And the rest of Israel, and of the priests, and the Levites, were in all the towns of Judah, every one in his inheritance. But the temple servants lived on Ophel, and Zia and Gishba were over the temple servants. The overseers of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzai, the son of Bani, son of Hashabiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, the singers, over the work of the house of God. For there was a command from the king concerning them, and a fixed provision for the singers, as every day required. And Pethahiah, the son of Meshezabel, of the sons of Zerah, the son of Judah, was at the king's side in all matters concerning the people. And as for the villages with their fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its villages, and in Dibon and its villages, and Jacabziel and its villages, and in Jeshua, and in Molada, and peth Pelet, and Hazar Shual, in Beersheba and its villages, in Ziklag, in Makona and its villages, in En Rimon, in Zora, in Jarmuth, in Zanoa, Adullam and their villages, Lachish and its fields, and Azekah and its villages. So they encamped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The people of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward at Michmash, Aisha, Bethel and its villages, Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Ramah, Gitaim, Hadid, Zebuim, Nebalat, Lod, and Ono, the Valley of Craftsmen. And certain divisions of the Levites in Judah were assigned to Benjamin. Our third chapter is from Israel's prophets. Zechariah 5. 
Again I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, a flying scroll. And he said to me, What do you see? I answered, I see a flying scroll. Its length is twenty cubits, and its width ten cubits. Then he said to me, This is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole land. For everyone who steals shall be cleaned out according to what is on one side, and everyone who swears falsely shall be cleaned out according to what is on the other side. I will send it out, declares the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter the house of the thief and the house of him who swears falsely by my name, and it shall remain in his house and consume it, both timber and stones. Then the angel who talked with me came forward and said to me, Lift your eyes and see what this is that is going out. And I said, What is it? He said, This is the basket that is going out. And he said, This is their iniquity in all the land. And behold, the leaden cover was lifted, and there was a woman sitting in the basket, and he said, This is wickedness. And he thrust her back into the basket, and thrust down the leaden weight on its opening. Then I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, two women coming forward. The wind was in their wings. They had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between earth and heaven. Then I said to the angel who talked with me, Where are they taking the basket? He said to me, To the land of Shinar to build a house for it. And when this is prepared, they will set the basket down there on its base. Our fourth chapter is from Israel's Wisdom and Poetry. Psalm 37 Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers. For they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and be friend of faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. In just a little while the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. But the meek shall inherit the land, and delight themselves in abundant peace. The wicked plots against the righteous, and gnashes his teeth at him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and needy to slay those whose way is upright. Their sword shall enter their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. Better is the little that the righteous has than the abundance of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the blameless, and their heritage will remain forever. They are not put to shame in evil times. In the days of famine they have abundance. But the wicked will perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke they vanish away. The wicked borrows but does not pay back. But the righteous is generous and gives. For those blessed by the Lord shall inherit the land. But those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a man are established by the Lord. When he delights in his way, though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong. For the Lord upholds his hand. I have been young, and now am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, or his children begging for bread. He is ever lending generously, and his children become a blessing. Turn away from evil and do good. So shall you dwell forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever. But the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell upon it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. The wicked watches for the righteous and seeks to put him to death. The Lord will not abandon him to his power or let him be condemned when he is brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way, 
and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will look on when the wicked are cut off. I have seen a wicked, ruthless man spreading himself like a green laurel tree. But he passed away, and behold, he was no more. Though I sought him, he could not be found. Mark the blameless, and behold the upright, for there is a future for the man of peace. But transgressors shall be altogether destroyed. The future of the wicked shall be cut off. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. Our fifth chapter is from the Gospels. You have completed all reading of the Gospels. Our final chapter for today is from the church epistles or letters. You have completed all New Testament epistles. Therefore, for the remainder, we will add Proverbs and Ecclesiastes in this category. Proverbs 27. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy, one who is full loathes honey, but to one who is hungry everything bitter is sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. Do not forsake your friend and your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him who reproaches me. The prudent sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for an adulteress. Whoever blesses his neighbor with a loud voice rising early in the morning will be counted as cursing. A continual dripping on a rainy day and a quarrelsome wife are alike. To restrain her is to restrain the wind or to grasp oil in one's right hand. Iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Whoever tends a fig tree will eat its fruit and he who guards his master will be honored. As in water face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects the man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and never satisfied are the eyes of man. The crucible is for silver, and the furnace is for gold, and a man is tested by his praise. Crush a fool in a mortar with a pestle along with crushed grain, yet his folly will not depart from him. Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds, for riches do not last for ever, and does a crown endure to all generations? When the grass is gone, and the new growth appears, and the vegetation of the mountains is gathered, the lambs will provide your clothing, and the goats the price of a field. There will be enough goat's milk for your food, for the food of your household, and maintenance for your girls.